Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel. So today we have another hair video. You guys seem to really like it and it is sponsored by Allocate Naturals. So thank you so much Allocate Naturals for pairing up with me in this video. I am super excited. So Allocate Naturals had contacted me and was like, hey, we want you to show one of your favorite styles featuring some of my products, which you guys know I am a twist out girl. And the product that we're featuring in this video is their Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer. Here's a little kinky stamp. So that makes me really happy because I am obviously a kinky girl. <laughs> so I need products that are gonna be super duper hydrating and I wanna tell you guys, this product definitely does it. So in this video, I am showing you guys the LOC method, which stands for like liquid or like leave-in oil and then cream now this will, could be used as your cream 100 percent i actually use this as my oil in my little loc method and the reason for that is because it's rich in argan oil coconut oil and wheat germ oil so basically those three oils help revive dull dry hair which that is always a problem that I have. Prevents damage in the hair cuticle and it increases shine and strength. So I was like, I'm actually gonna use this as the oil in my LLC method. However, you guys definitely can use it as the cream. Now I show you guys in this video, but I wanna show you again. Now you guys know I have a lot of hair, okay? This, this is a lot. This is a lot. So I typically like to use a lot of products to just give me that moisture. Guys, look at this. I barely scrape the surface of this hair moisturizer. A little bit goes a super long way. Like I'm gonna show you guys, look at this. Look at that. And then it just kind of melts into your hand. It feels so good. And guys, it smells delicious. I was laying down with my boyfriend. He was like, your hair smells good. I was like, thank you. <laughs> it smells so, so good. A little bit goes a super long way and my hair just feels super moisturized, which is a problem I typically have. My hair likes to feel dry and I hate it, um, but this just gave me such great moisture. And you guys know I'm a lazy natural. I don't like to style my hair too much, especially because I kind of suffer from breakage, which you guys can see like in the videos, like as I'm separating my hair, I do suffer from breakage. I'm trying to find out how to prevent that. Um, so I like to do, you know, less to my hair like i'll style it one day and i want to leave it alone for like two weeks no lie so i need something that's going to keep that moisture in my hair and i definitely feel like this product did it so yeah that is definitely something i'm going to be incorporating more into my hair routines before we begin make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel do not forget to do that guys come part of the family you know i love to have you here give this video a thumbs up if you want to see how i got this twist out using allocate naturals using the loc method then just keep on watching all right guys let's go ahead and get started so my hair is looking crazy so i'm just gonna take a portion of my hair section it off and just clip the rest of the hair out the way and we're gonna start with the L in the LOC method which is your leave-in this is the lemongrass leave-in conditioner and it contains nothing but natural ingredients and is great for all hair types kinky curly wavy straight and what you want to do is saturate your hair with this okay you need a lot of moisture if you're gonna be detangling your hair so I'm just working it into my hair strands and I'm taking my Denman brush and gently detangling working from the bottom of my hair up to the roots you don't ever want to work from root to end and then we're gonna take the star of the show the shea yogurt hair moisturizer guys i fell in love with this first of all this was the first time i opened it look at that look at that the consistency was interesting like it was hard but then once you rub your finger across it it just melts oh my god giving you the best moisture and i'm using this as the o in my method for oil because like i said at the beginning of the video it's just rich in argan oil coconut oil all types of great oils okay and this is just going to really lock in that moisture so I work this product in my hair as well and then I'm gonna take that huge section and section it off in two and then we're gonna take the aloe berry styling gel which will be our C in our LOC method which we cream or your styling products and I'm just going to not completely saturate my hair with this but just work it in a little bit and look how that gave me some cute definition y'all I never did a wash and go but comment down below if you want to see me try a wash and go with these products because I'm thinking it might be a success 
but I'm just gonna go ahead and twist my hair so we're doing um, like you know medium sized twist so we can get some definition but I wasn't really pressed about having full definition my concern today was making sure I had moisture so I'm just gonna go ahead and twist that all the way to the bottom of my hair and then I'm going to coil the ends around my finger so we have a nice little curl and here is our twist now I'm gonna go ahead and take that other portion apply the aloe berry styling gel and do that one as well and this is really repetitive so we're just gonna continue to do this throughout our entire head guys just look at these twists though they look so juicy and I was really excited because I don't know about you guys but have you ever tried products from the same hairline right but then you woke up with flaking that just stresses me out like how are you from the same brand or the same line and you don't work well with each other I just don't understand it so this didn't give me any of that cottage cheese look while I was applying it so I already knew that I was going to wake up happy with no flaking at all because there's nothing worse than like flaking and then you feel like you have to wash your hair again so I had went ahead and just finished my head off camera basically I came back just to show you a quick little portion and typically um, if you guys watch me with my twist in before for like my previous videos and you would see that I like to have the twist like in front of my face normally I have like a little bang action but I thought it would be cute to have a little side part so I went ahead and just kind of parted my hair in the direction that I wanted my hair to lay in so yeah however you want your hair to fall you want to make sure when you're styling your twist out that you're parting it the right way so we have all these beautiful juicy twists done they're looking good and I'm feeling happy so I went ahead and put my bonnet on Guys, I just knew these twists were going to look bomb. Like, I felt it. So I had to do a little dance move. So I left these in for two days because I wasn't going anywhere. So I didn't want to waste it. You know what I mean? So I went ahead and took the Glaze Argan Oil Silkener. And I coated my hands with this. And I used that oil just to kind of prevent um too much frizz i didn't mind having a little bit here and there but the frizzier my hair is at the beginning of the style the less likely it will last you know what i mean so i love to have a oil on my hands just to prevent that frizz and what i'm doing is just twisting the twist in the opposite direction and pulling it from the center to just unravel twist basically and this is why when you're twisting your hair you don't want to borrow hair because that can make the takedown process a little bit more difficult and then I'm taking those sections and just separating them where they naturally want to separate to give my hair a little bit more volume and obviously I'm just going to continue this around my entire head so I did have a little bit of frizziness, which I liked. I actually kept on separating. I was like, I want big hair today. So I don't know, guys. I, I'm a Libra. I never know what I want. Do I want frizz or do I not want frizz? But I just, I didn't completely separate every part of my hair. You know what I mean? But I wanted my hair to be big. So after that, I took my pick 
and I just lifted these roots a bit to give me some more volume. And then I wanted to kind of style it a bit, so I just took the side of my hair and just did a quick little twist and added some bobby pins just to hold it into place. So it just pulled that part of my hair back just to show my face a little bit more. And I absolutely love the outcome. I thought the twist out came out beautiful, but most importantly, my hair felt really hydrated. And this is about three days later that I'm doing this voiceover. So hey, y'all. Um, and my hair still feels really good and moisturized, and I haven't felt like I needed to re-moisturize. Uh, I think that Shea Yogurt moisturizer is amazing, and I just think my hair looks good. Alright guys, and I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thank you once again, Allocate Naturals, for partnering up with me for this video. I hope all of you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!